pretty cool, right? Want to learn how it's done? Hey guys, and welcome back. Today, we're getting into the nuts and bolts of target tracking. First, let's take a look at some side-by-side -side examples so that you can understand exactly what it is. Both of the moves that you're currently looking at have the same start and end keyframes with the exact same amount of time in between them and the same fairings, which is just another word for easing. So you would expect them to be identical, but as you can clearly see, they're totally different. This is because they have one key difference. The video on the left has target tracking turned off, while the video on the right has it turned on. Whenever target tracking is turned off, flare will only follow the path that was generated for the camera. Once we turn target tracking on, flare will now follow the path that was generated for the camera and the target, which will ensure that the camera is always looking directly at the target throughout the entire move and not just at the keyframes. So why is this useful? Simply put, it's a much more intuitive way to program and it gives you complete control over your composition throughout the entire move. More intuitive also means more efficient, and as we all know, saving time means saving money. No money, more no problems. MRMC actually developed target tracking for motion control systems over 35 years ago, and it comes in a few different flavors, such as pan tilt target tracking, camera orbital, and a few others that we can dive into in a later episode. So how does it work? Every keyframe will have a target distance. Here you can see me piloting the camera to find those keyframes. Whenever you're in focus follows target, which I was in this example, the target distance will match the focus distance and Flare will use these points to draw a path for the target to follow. The target distance is measured from the sensor plane. MRMC also makes a focused assist module which uses a stereo camera to sense depth. This allows you to click on the live feed and pull focus to whatever you click on. Pretty cool, right? So how do you use target tracking? Well, really it's automatic, you just turn it on. But the trick is knowing when and how to use the different camera control modes to create your keyframes for your camera and target so that the path that they follow is exactly what you want. The camera control modes are essentially just different ways of piloting the camera, each with their own ideal use cases. The main thing to understand is that they allow you to either move just the camera, just the target, or the two of them simultaneously. It goes a little deeper than that, and you do have a ton of useful fine control, but we can get more into the specifics in a later video. If you're interested in learning about them, let us know down in the comments below. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for target tracking. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you're enjoying these, and feel free to leave any questions or comments down below, or hit me up on Instagram if you'd like to connect. Until next time, peace.